In this video, we are going to be finding a base and an exponent for a given number. So the perfect squares 1 through 20 are very common, and so I would either try to memorize these or get these written down so that you can use them while you're working through your assignments and on your exams. For the perfect cubes 1 through 10, I think are the most important here. So same thing, either memorize them or get them written down so that you can utilize them when you're working through your assignments and on your exams. So let's look at example one. Find a base and exponent form for the following number without using the exponent one. So what we're doing here is we're trying to find a base and an exponent that's going to give us 64. And we know that 64 to the first power is equal to 64, but it says in the example to not use the exponent one. So we gotta figure out a different base and a different exponent. So utilizing the chart, the previous charts, we know that eight to the second power or eight squared is equal to 64. So here the base would be eight and the exponent would be two. And there is actually another answer here, utilizing the perfect cubed chart, we know that four to the third power or four cubed is equal to 64 also. So here the answer would be the base is four and the exponent would be three. All right, let's look at example two. We're doing the same thing. Find a base and exponent form for the following number without using the exponent one. We have here 225. So using our charts, we're looking, we're trying to find what base and what exponent is going to give us 225. And you should discover that 15 squared or 15 to the second power is equal to 225. So here our base would be 15 and our exponent would be two. All right, let's look at example three. Find a base and exponent form for the following number without using the exponent one. We have here 10,000. So if you go back and look at your charts, we actually don't have 10,000 represented on those charts. But anytime we have a number starting with a one and followed only with zeros, those numbers are called powers of 10. And they're actually really easy to represent as exponents. And so here, your base is always going to be 10. And to figure out what the exponent is going to be, you just count the zeros. So here we have four zeros. So 10 to the fourth power, or 10 to the power of four, is going to give us 10,000. So the base is going to be 10, and the exponent is going to be so let's look at example four. It's similar to example three. Find a base and exponent form for the following number without using the exponent one. So we have here the number one million. And so as we learned previously, the base is going to be 10. And to figure out what the exponent's going to be, we're just going to count the number of zeros. So here we have six zeros. So 10 to the sixth power or 10 to the power of six is going to equal 1 million. And so the base is going to be 10 and the exponent is going to be six.